The community damage we saw at West was the worst of any chemical accident in the CSB's history. Some of the hardest hit buildings were public schools. The intermediate school that was very close to the explosion site was completely devastated by blast and fire. And when our investigators visited, even with urban search and rescue, there was almost no part of that building that could be safely entered. The middle school was about half a mile away from the blast site. It was heavily damaged, glass was broken, ceilings were falling in. But the very worst damage was close to the site. The apartment block was almost demolished. And of course, tragically, there were a couple of fatalities within that building. Across the street from the apartment block is a nursing home. That building had glass everywhere. Virtually not a single window intact. Ceilings and roofs were collapsed. And one of the most disturbing things about this accident is how these vulnerable buildings were so affected by the explosion. Of course, there were a huge number of houses that were damaged or destroyed. Close to the blast site, damage was the most severe. There was block after block of houses with serious structural problems, windows gone, walls cracked or gone, ceilings collapsed. A lot of these houses are going to have to be torn down and rebuilt. The site itself was really pulverized by the accident. There's very little there except rubble and twisted metal. Across the street from the site, there was a playground with basketball courts and tennis courts, and that showed some of the most severe blast damage. Had the explosion occurred during the day when children and staff were present at the schools, the impact of this accident certainly could have even been worse than it was. CSB investigator Jared Denton went out with the film crew on Friday, May 3rd, and went around the neighborhood trying to document just how severe this accident was. And this is some of the footage he obtained. I'm CSB Managing Director Daniel Horowitz. Thank you for watching.